In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to build an app on top of a Google Sheet. I'll guide you through it in five simple steps and in just over five minutes, you'll have an app ready to deploy to thousands of users. Let's get started. This is Glide. It's a tool for building software on top of data sources like Google Sheets. Once you add your data, you can still edit your data in the original location and the app and data source will stay in sync. Now, I'm gonna start by importing my Google Sheet into Glide. I'm organizing a conference and currently I just have a sessions and speakers table. Now, after importing, Glide generates a simple app based on my data and I can see and edit my data in the data editor. If I navigate back to the layout editor, I can start building on this basic starting point. Now stick with me through this bit because it's kind of the core of how Glide works. It's actually really simple and powerful when you get your head around it. So my two tables have become two tabs in my app, sessions and speakers. On each screen, I can see all the rows of my table represented as items in a kind of list. And if someone adds or edits data in my spreadsheet, I'll see my app update live. And if someone adds or edits data in my app, my spreadsheet also gets updated. Now on this screen, I don't actually want my users to be able to edit the data. So I'm just gonna turn this off in the collections settings. There are also other settings here in this collection. I can change the style and I can change the columns that it's showing. For example, let's change this from the room number to the date and time. So I have my two tabs here for sessions and speakers. Let's click into one of them. This screen now shows the whole row for this item and the data from each column for that row is being shown in these different components. I have a title component showing the title, location and description properties. And I have a fields component showing columns like date, start time and end time. Now components like collections are customizable. I can edit the settings and the columns that are displayed and I can delete and add new components to show the data of my row in exactly the way that I need. Whatever I do to this item will also then apply to all of the other items in this collection. And components don't have to just be on detail screens. Back on the top level of my tab, I'm gonna add a title component above the collection and upload my conference hero image and add the title and subtitle. Now I'm entering these custom values directly in Glide here, so they're not actually gonna sync with my sheet, but this is a really nice way of quickly adding things like this right in Glide. All Glide apps are automatically responsive, so whatever edits you make to your app's layout will work seamlessly across all devices. So let's navigate back into a detail screen for one of these sessions. Now, right now, I can't actually see the speaker for this event, even though the data is in my spreadsheet. Each event has the speaker's email, and in the other table, I have all of my speaker's information. Now, I already have a tab in my app that's showing my speaker's table, but it's not connected to this other tab. I could manually add all of the information for every speaker on every talk, but there's a better way. Glide's data editor lets me add an entirely new layer of power on top of my spreadsheet called computed columns. Computed columns are a bit like spreadsheet functions, but way easier, more reliable, and actually a lot more powerful when it comes to building software. So I wanna link two tables with related data, and I can do this with a relation column. I'll add the relation column and relate each row via the speaker's email so that it matches the row in the speaker's table. Now, every session has a link to its speaker and we've done this just by matching the right email in both tables. If you've used the VLOOKUP or the XLOOKUP function in spreadsheets, this is a very similar thing. Back in the layout editor, I'm gonna add a new collection, but this time, instead of choosing a table as a source, I can pick the relation that we just created. And this now shows the speaker for every session and I can click through to see their profile. So Glide is a very powerful platform when it comes to building business software. We are only scratching the surface here. There's so much more you can do with computed columns, workflows, and integrations. I'm just gonna make some quick tweaks to my app before sharing it with my users. I'll upload a logo, change the theme, customize my sign-in screen, and finally, I'm gonna customize the privacy settings for my app before I publish. Here, I'm gonna choose private and the users table. This means that I can invite people to my app and their information will be stored in a new table. Here, I can customize the URL for this app and then hit publish. And now I can start adding users. Anyone who uses this app can use it just like a regular app, but without needing to download it through the App Store. This also means that I can update the app in seconds, adding more data and functionality whenever I need. Whatever users do in this app will sync to my sheet, and whatever I do in my sheet will sync to my app. 
this original conference spreadsheet is now 10 times more valuable with an app built on top of it. And it only took us five minutes to get here. Just imagine how many different spreadsheets are lying around in your workplace that you could build an interface on top of and how much more value that would bring to your work. You can learn more about building apps on top of Google Sheets and other data sources at glideapps.com.